dear students continuing with our uh, lecture series on reduction reactions in this lecture we will discuss uh, what are enzyme catalyzed reduction reactions in organic chemistry now uh, as you have seen in case of uh, different types of uh, metal hydride reduction and dissolving metal reduction that uh, different types of function groups they can be uh, converted into uh, products by addition of hydrogen uh, to the uh, substrates uh, which are which is called as reduction reaction the same type of reaction for example uh, if we use lithium aluminum hydride uh, they will uh, lithium aluminum hydride will reduce uh, aldehydes and ketones to the respective uh, alcohols as the product and the same uh, results they can be achieved if we use uh, enzymes uh, or uh, whole cells of different uh, type of microorganism uh, they can be used uh, then we can uh, get the same type of reduction uh, products and uh, the advantage of uh, enzyme based uh, reduction reactions is that uh, the initial selectivity of the products formed wherever uh, there is a possibility of formation of chiral product is high as compared to uh, chemical reduction reaction so for example uh, if uh, uh, we are to study the reduction of carbonyl groups uh, this has been uh, studied by different types of bioreductants and the most commonly used uh, uh, is the bakers or some uh, reductase enzymes they have been used for reduction of carbonyl group and uh, the product forms will be obviously uh, the alcohols as uh, same product which we get with the chemical uh, constituents also chemical uh, reducing agents also but there uh, the initial selectivity is low Uh, in comparison to when we are using backer yeast or uh, reductase enzyme so uh, for example uh, when uh, reduction of ethyl acetoacetate this uh, reactant was done uh, then uh, this uh, exclusively gave us uh, 3 hydroxybutyrate but uh, the concentration uh, was r the hydroxyl group is alpha uh, with respect to this uh, uh, chiral carbon and uh, this we can say the r alcohol is uh, formed as the product similarly uh, if uh, the baker yeast is used uh, in case of uh, this substrate four chloroacetoacetate only difference is one of the hydrogen over here has been replaced by chloro so you can see the conformation of the product form the hydroxyl group is changed now the s alcohol is formed as the product so uh, this uh, uh, initial selectivity can only be uh, achieved with uh, enzymatic reactions uh, if we use enzymes or baker yeast then the initial selective product is formed and uh, the stereochemistry uh, of the reduced products which are formed depends on the shape and size of the prochiral starting material so here uh, this is the prochiral uh, material whereas here one of the hydrogen has been replaced by halogen so that means shape and size of the molecule has changed and because of so the change in shape and size of the molecule Uh, the type of uh, enantiomer formed in the product is different here uh, r product is formed whereas here s product is formed so what we can conclude is that uh, baker yeast uh, has the two different active reducing side because of that uh, we are getting either alpha product or beta product either r product or s product so uh, the advantage of uh, these uh, bio reductions is that uh, we can uh, get very pure enantiomer selective product of reduction 
another example uh, in this uh, beta keto ester which is a cyclic in nature uh, here also uh, we will get an initial selective reduction where uh, both the hydroxyl as well as ester they are in the alpha position and the product form in 85 percent amount and uh, the initial selectivity or anisomeric ratio is uh, 95% and here the immobilized baker yeast is used instead of uh, the baker yeast itself. Then uh, the as you have seen in the previous examples uh, the initial selectivity uh, with the baker's, uh, baker's yeast uh, was uh, very substrate dependent and uh, mainly the substrate which were used they were beta keto esters <coughs> sorry and uh, ketones they give very low selectivities so uh, therefore some other uh, microorganisms they were used for example uh, the whole cells of rhodococcus ruber uh, they were used for the reduction of these types of uh, ketones and it selectively reduced only carbonyl compound and carbon-carbon uh, double bond was not affected and product was formed 67% with 99% uh, anisomeric factors so anisomeric selectivity was very high Similarly, uh, geotrichum candidum uh, microorganism is also used in presence of uh, NAD plus as the cofactor in uh, secondary alcohols as the solvent for the reduction of different types of aliphatic or aromatic ketones. So, for example, in this case, we will get an issue selective reduction of this ketone to give us these types of alpha hydroxy uh, compound uh, compounds where hydroxyl group is alpha whereas uh, in these types of uh, acetophenone derivatives uh, the product formed is again anisomeric selective only this anisomer is formed by reduction under these conditions whereas when uh, this uh, group in case of acetophenone uh, methyl group is replaced by trifluoromethane group then uh, we will get the opposite configuration in case of reduction of hydroxyl group uh, then uh, we can also use isolated uh, enzymes for reduction of different types of organic function groups uh, because uh, uh, this will avoid the difficulties which are associated with using microorganisms or baker yeast because they have diffusion limitations and there are many different types of enzymes they are also present in the microorganisms or baker yeast and because of those things some side reactions are also seen and the initial selectivity is also reduced in such cases so to avoid these uh, difficulties and drawbacks uh, we can use isolated enzymes but uh, isolated enzymes uh, or pure enzymes they are very costly and uh, in addition they also require some cofactor like NADH or NADPH uh, for the reaction to take and these NADH or NADPH they have oxidized or reduced form where uh, we can reduce carbonyl compounds into alcohols or we can oxidize alcohols into carbonyl compounds depending upon what type of uh, form uh, of NADH or NADPH we use so this is the structure of NAD plus or NADP plus where uh, there are two phosphate groups and uh, the reactive part is uh, this oxidized part and this is the reduced part 
which is uh, participating in oxidation or reduction reaction and uh, in addition to these cofactors we also require co-reductants such as formate iron or an alcohol from where uh, if we are using alcohol that means uh, proton will be transferred from the alcohol to the reactant for reduction reaction and uh, this uh, format ion will be reduced to an alcohol if oxidation reaction is taken. So this is uh, the mechanism that how uh, reaction takes place. So uh, this is the reduced form of uh, NAD plus that is NADH. So hydride is transferred from the NADH to the carbonyl compound and this oxygen takes up uh, proton uh, from the uh, co-reductant uh, which is present in the enzyme and this NADH uh, will be transformed into the oxidized form that is NAD plus and we will get alcohol as the product and this type of reactions they are uh, equilibrium reactions uh, carbonyl compounds they can be transformed into alcohols and alcohols they can be transformed into uh, ketones. If we use NADH, this forward reaction will take place. If we use NAD plus, that the reverse reaction will take place. And similarly, uh, formate from the oxidized form will be uh, oxidized to carbon dioxide. So this is how uh, transformation of carbonyl compounds into alcohols take place uh, through enzymatic process. So uh, this is one more example where horse liver alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme in presence of catalytic amounts of NADH and ethanol uh, is used for reduction of these types of uh, symmetrical ketone. So this symmetrical diketone uh, uh, under these conditions gave us uh, these types of chiral alcohols and reaction is highly selective because reduction of only one carbon carbon uh, carbon oxygen double bond take place other carbon oxygen double bond is uh, not affected and such type of partial reduction is not possible with uh, any type of uh, chemical uh, reductant like lithium aluminum hydride or sodium borohydride they will reduce both the uh, carbon so that is why this type of uh, enzymatic reduction, they are very tenacious selective and uh, very important for uh, uh, reduction of different types of organisms. So these are some of the references which have been used for preparing this lecture. Thank you very much.